Hey, so in this video, I'll show you how you can get my new M config into your system. So let me open up my terminal kitty. And okay, so before doing any kind of configuration, make sure you have these two things. First, install a node font. The node font I use is node font. Okay, so personally, I use this node font, JetBrains Mono Node Font. You can install any of these and make sure to change the font of your terminal emulator in the configuration. And second thing you should have is the latest version of NeoVim. Currently, it's 0 0.7, and the version I have in this computer is also 0 0.7. So make sure to have the latest version because a lot of plugins like Tracer depend on the latest version and if you don't have it, it will give you, it won't work, it will crash and the, and if your, if your package manager of your distro doesn't have the latest version, you can just build it from source or you can use snap or app image, just get the latest version. So to get my NeoVim configuration, just go to my GitHub. and go to my my linux setup and just clone this repository and by the way i uh, the new config i have explained in detail in the previous videos so you can watch that also so i'll just clone it get clone okay so before showing you anything the new as you can see it's a fresh install it doesn't have any kind of configuration right now okay so let's you can see my linux setup over here i'll cd into it and here you can see a config directory go in cd into it config directory and over here you can see neovim so all you have to do is just copy this neovim directory to the home slash config directory so i'll just copy recursively of course nmim to home slash config directory and hit enter and that's it it's there so if you go to dot config directory in your home and ls uh, here over here you can see nvim okay so now all you have to do is run nvim it will wait for some second uh, actually it's installing packer and as it's install packer you get some error now all you have to do is quit and run nvim again and run packer sync just run packer sync and it will install all of the plugins yep so all the plugins are installed uh some are some are not installed maybe some due to some breaking changes but uh, you can try it after some day and it should get installed okay so i'll quit and run nvim again get some error okay i'll run again near them okay might be some issue okay so tree setter it has installed all of the tree setter packages and it's done now you can start using the new one. So if I go to dot config directory and new one, and if I open up the nvim tree and if I open up in it, as you can see, everything is working really good. You can open up the terminal using F1 and the buff Lua line should also be working. So at the top you can see lower line is also working so everything is working really good and to get to know about all of the plugins which i have you can of course watch my th previous three videos i have explained every single plugin i have and to and i also here highly recommend is going through my configuration so so just go to my configuration my new one okay so just go to con my configuration not okay not cache config new vim 
okay just go through it so first we have the init.lua of course the init.lua read me so uh, go through the init.lua and after that you can go to lua directory and bindings so in this i have all of the bindings so i'll open up bindings okay and and bim okay let me just cd into nevim cd lua and nvim bindings so over here you can see all of these bindings just try them out it has all of the bindings and you can go to commands you can check command general okay in general i have all the general configuration stuff and in plugins the plugins i have installed it's in plugins.lua cannot plug plugins .lua. so i have i have installed all of these plugins just go through them and configuration for every single plugin it's in the plug config directory so it has all of these plugins and the configuration of those okay so we are missing one thing right now which is the lsp servers so personally uh, i don't use lsp install i install all of the plug uh, lsp uh, servers manually so if i go to if i go to lsp config over here you can just open up lsp config config see what config and at the top i have mentioned how you can install all of these so i'll show you what are the servers i'm using right now so i have pyrite pyrite for python arduino language server for arduino of course ts server for javascript and trace uh, typescript hls uh i'm gonna show it's for html language server i guess it's html language server cmake html is over here i'm not sure what is hls i have to check css ls for css language server rust analyzer for rust uh not sure what this word is it's for lua and bash ls for bash for shell scripting language server and cc ls for c and c plus plus so i have all of these uh servers uh you can install uh for to install in arch based distro or arch you can just follow these three plugins uh, these three commands so this is pacman command this is paru paru or the arch user repository and this is for npm okay so this is the command for uh, arch and you can just check uh, check the github of these but uh, individual servers uh, to see how you can install in your distro so okay so i'll show you what are the possible language server we have so you can just go to l lsp config neovem just go to the first repository and then just go to this language collection of common configuration so you uh, we have all of this all of these servers and you can just install all of, any of them according to you and that's it that's how you can get my new vim config it's working really fine okay uh one more thing i'll show you is that if uh you want to get the pull the late uh, latest uh commits i have made uh the changes i have made in the new vim all you have to do is just go to my linux the where you have cloned my repository and just run git pull git pull and it will get the all of the latest changes and you can just again uh, go to config and just copy again copy again uh neovim to config directory but but i don't recommend this way at all the better way is to create a symbolic link of this neovim directory to your config config directory let me show you that how you can do that so just go to your uh config directory okay cd dot config directory and just delete the neovim configuration 
and mem so delete it out so we don't have any new mem uh directory over here in the dot config directory now go to my my repository and just create a symbolic link of this directory to your dot config directory so how you can do that is just type ln dash s and the pwd so we can just get the pwd slash nvim and we want to create the symbolic link to home slash dot config and nvim hit enter that's it now anything any changes made to the this directory the repository it will automatically get changed it's a symbolic link so you can just go to config and over here you can see it's in a different color because it's a symbolic link you can just run ranger and go over here so as you can see it's a symbolic link to your the my link setter config and new web so it's a better way just create a symbolic link so now you can just go through my new web config uh make your own changes do some stuff and that's it and if you like it you can just leave a star so that's it bye bye